Mukhtar works it away straight on, starting off with a boundary. That's good confidence for the youngster. Lovely shot, you'd have to say, a pretty indifferent delivery. First up from Tanashi Panyangara, just ambled into the crease, angled down the leg side, fine leg is up in the circle. So once he got bat on it and passed the short fine leg, he's always going to race away for four. Straight away, giving the charge, played over mid-off, there's a chase there, might not go all the way. But the batsman will easily come back for two, so the intent is clear from Mukhtar. Once again, this time on the onside, that's a better hit, this will go, two bounces into the fence, boundary number two in the over. Again, just running up on a nice length and free flow of the willow. This time over, long on, and this time all the way to the boundary. Slightly fuller and uh, it's a good connection there. Waka Yunus loved it. Calls for two and they just might get that. This has been placed perfectly on the onside. And yes, they do complete it with ease. That's exactly, exactly where you don't want to bowl when your third man's up in the circle. Using the base and that extra bounce from the tall bowler. We've seen pace and bounce in this wicket all night. And that's why I think the third man is one area that you need to cover. Gives the bowler very little margin of error. Short again. And four more. Welcome back to international cricket, Christopher Pofu. There's nowhere to hide out there in the middle, particularly against a top-class side on a very good wicket. Going with another short one, and this time able to comfortably get inside the line and put it away. Finding up in the circle with the man out at square leg, no chance. Once again, that should be four more. Three in a row. Two straight again from Christopher and Porfo, another flick of the wrist and another boundary. There it is, just running the fingers across the seam and again in that area. By my counting, I reckon that's the fifth or sixth boundary in that particular area tonight. Another boundary! It's raining fours here in Lahore. Christopher and Porfo put to the sword in his first over. 56 for none now, Pakistan after three. And that's smashed away. Short from Brian Vittori and dismissed from his presence with utter disdain. He just sat up and smeared away through with wicket. Lovely shot. Not getting if the idea is right. I think the bowler has noticed what happened. Ah, too full this time. And again, the same result. They're just not finding their lengths here, the Zimbabweans, and they're getting put to the sword. Ahmed now on to 38. This time, too full. Big bottom hand coming into play. And Christopher and Pofu admit on no chance. Yes, this guy is looking good. Full face of the bat. <laughs> He's playing it almost all over the park. Yeah, he's got a glove on it, another short delivery, another boundary. They're at a loss here, rather well, men in red for Zimbabwe. And at a disarray here in Lahore, four ball, 49 for nine. Oh, that's uh, a wide delivery on the leg side with the fine leg up in the ring, not a clever piece of bowling. Just losing the plot here, Zimbabwe. They put pressure on Pakistan by amassing all those runs in the first innings. 170 plus, but the bowling has been below par for sure. An easy pickup shot for a Mukhtar. And nothing delivery, really. Yeah, good enough. 50 is raised as a result of that massive drive over long off. Shahid Afridi should be pretty proud with the efforts of his opener. Is well built Mukhtar, raising his back to the gallery and uh, what a time, what a place to bring up your T2050 in front of a packed audience.
Yes, what a dream start. In fact, his second T20, but in front of home crowd first. And Mukhtar making 55. Five overs and 105. That's gone up. Well, that's a massive blow. That really is well timed. Mukhtar Ahmed has hit a lovely crispy boundary over covers. 10.3. Big shot. Big six. Wow. This boy has got some power. And that's on display. On 70 of just 34 balls. Had enough of the singles and he's thought about it and then belted him right over long on. So Mukhtar knows that he's on top and he's grinding them to a halt. Zimbabwe really struggling. Mukhtar pulverizing them. That's a fantastic hit and that's a big six. He's cleared the boundary with ease. Finds a gap. He's been looking in that area on this occasion. Manages to pierce the gap. Nobody out there. Elton Chickenborough forced to attack, forced to try and get a wicket. So another boundary. And just as you mentioned, length, that's a lot of length to work with. Short of a length, and he's been eyeing that delivery. Three or four balls before, he's looking for that boundary. Easy pickings yet again. Short and wide, and as expected, four runs. That's up in the air. Straight down the ground. Lovely shot again, probably didn't get all of it, probably not exactly where he intended, but the result is a pleasing one nevertheless, not only for the man at the crease, but for the crowd as well. That's a fantastic shot, it's not a half volley by any stretch of the imagination, stands tall and hits it down the ground. Testament to the wicket and testament to this guy's talent. Powers it over, straight over the bowler's head. It's a very, very difficult shot to play, but he's... Not hit it perfectly, but still six. He's gone big. Has he got all of it? Oh, no, you haven't. Trying to play one big shot too many. Doesn't get all of it. Thick inside edge. And Richmond Mutambami down and long on takes his second catch. And Zimbabwe have their second wicket. He's played quite brilliantly, though. There's Ahmed. Really, really good hand in front of this large crowd. He's entertained. And he's put his side in a winning position. Top draw, but he'll feel sad and that he couldn't get through to three figures. Nonetheless, brilliant innings of 83 comes to an end. 144 for two. Shazad, and this is how he lost his wicket. Trying to clear that boundary on the long on and straight into the hands of that fielder. Second catch for him. And a good knock played.